Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vic Gorgeous. Um, today I'm going to show you how to rehab a Louis Vuitton Alma bag. But but first, please subscribe on my channel and uh, click that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you will get notified. Okay, so this is the second bag of Alma that I'm going to paint. The first one, I sold it in my Mercari account. And please follow and look at my Mercari account, which I'm selling bag and Poshmark also. And yeah, so today I might color this with Bacchetta or pink. Pink. So this is what I'm using. I'm using an Angelus pink acrylic leather paint. I might use pink or a vachetta color. So at first, before you paint the bag, you have, of course, clean. You can like just wipe it with dry cotton cloth. Like I'm using a old t-shirt of my son here. This is his, you know, old small shirts that he do doesn't fit anymore. So you just have to wipe the vachetta just wipe wipe off the dust you know the monogram you can clean it off later on after you painted everything and just make sure you paint you clean wipe off some dust or like whatever dirt is there i actually have a dick glazer that i was like planning to use but i'm not gonna use it this time because i'm not sure if it's even like what like worth it to use the uh, the deglazer the deglazer will remove the you know from the factory when they did the bag it says here to remove the factory finish so i might not use this because it might ruin the leather like it may gonna make it dry because it's made of alcohol uh, not, is it alcohol like uh where is it it's gonna make it dry and this is like this is acetone and ethyl alcohol yep so just dry wipe the bachetta wipe it and all the bags you see, sometimes you'll find the dirt. This is a vintage bag. So if you know, there's a lot of vintage bags right now that you can buy for a less expensive price, which are still in good condition. Yeah, so if you see this, all the bachetta was like, got some dark stain. I was surprised because one time uh, the one of the Louis Vuitton that I painted, that's my mom's bag, was also it's still in good condition. And then suddenly it just developed a black spot like this. So that's what we are trying to hide. We will cover this with bachetta, bach bachetta paint or the paint color. Oh well, the last bachetta that I used, the bag that I painted was bachetta and it was really great. It looks great. I'll show you a picture of it, that the one I sold. But I was planning to use a pink. I think it's gonna look good too. What do you think? So let's try. I'll show you some of the bags that I painted, like red black and also the this and one. purple so including this one i'm not done with this one yet i have to paint it with um uh, what do you call this this is a purple i just have to like double check that if i miss some some of the parts that i need to to paint more and I have to do to put a seal so I also do a sealant so it will it will stay. Yeah, so this one is gonna go to my Mercari also once it's finished. 
All right, so let's start. I'm going to show you the inside of the bag also. This is still in good condition too. Just have to clean it. I will clean the bag after once I already clean it. You see how good the shape, the the monogram. It just needs a paint to make it more beautiful. I know a lot of people loves vintage and they like to see, you know, that's how the the Louis Vuitton is. It has a it's like a history you know the bags when you use it like for 20 years it's it's unique all bags are unique because once you use one a, a louis vuitton it's on how like the owner uses it how they take care of their bag and it comes like every signs of usage is unique so and the patina also it becomes honey patina when it becomes on old or on its age. But yeah, sometimes it hurts on the eye to see the watermarks like this. Yeah, so we will save this bag. Okay, we'll start to paint the bag. I'm gonna get ready and first uh, just go over the monogram to make it uh, easier for me to paint the bachetta and it won't go to the monogram. So and that it, so that the bag hopefully does not get destroyed. Yeah, so it will protect the monogram, and I'll show it to you once I put the tape on, and we'll start the painting. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I just finished putting the tape on the monogram, so I will be able to paint the bachetta easily. So this is what I do. So I put a lot of, you know, tape around the handle, the where the monogram is, and here I put a tape so that when, after I paint it, it doesn't attach to the monogram. So I did the same thing on the back, so it will be easier for me to paint. And of course, this is all around the bag and the corner. So I think I'm going to paint this with a bachata color. I was thinking about the pink, but I will try this next time. And I will use the bachata instead. Or maybe a black also. But I'm really 100% about painting it with bachata. I'm thinking about black or the bachata. And of course, what you will need is paintbrush. I have some of the small paintbrush because when I was like painting it before, I did not use a tape and I was like painting it like very carefully so it won't go to the monogram. But once your paint close to the monogram, it's easy to wipe, wipe it off. So you just use uh, the, the cloth and you can use also this big brush. Okay, so we will start the painting. I will start painting the bag with bachetta and show it to you guys because it's gonna take a long time to paint. I will make a video when I start painting. Alright guys, I'm going to start painting now. This is my leftover bachetta. I'm just gonna put it pour in the small cup, but not a lot. Just enough for me to start use uh, painting the bottom. You see? That should be, you know, okay for a while. I've been feeling nothing lately when without you. I know that something really special made me think about you. About you.
I'm done uh, painting the bachetta. I also double paint and see if I miss uh, some parts of the bachetta. And now this is it. So the uh, second part of the video will uh, paint it with, will seal it with sealant. We'll just wait it for uh, to dry for 24 hours and I'll show you the finished product. We'll remove all the tape and do the sealant. Okay. That's the first product. We just have to retouch it if you see some missed parts. Alright, thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe on my channel and uh, push that notification button. And so you can see my next video for the finished product. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.